and we're a go. All right, so, so what do we got coming up next, fellas? Movie time. Movie time. We got movie time. Can we do a, can we do a how about, let's, can we do one of those things? Movie time, movie time, movie time. All right, all right. like a um, harmony? Yeah, harmony. All right, who's going to be the high, who's going to be the so low? I'll be like, movie time. Movie time. Movie time. Oh, no, you can go lower. Oh, I, I had to go, go higher. Low. You go middle, you go high, and I'll go low. Movie time. Movie time. Movie time. Movie time. All right, let's get Welcome into it. to movie time, people. Get dog. Well, the first one we got up today is Unfriended, a horror film about a group of teenagers on on an online video chat that are being haunted by a mysterious figure that is posing to be their recently deceased friend. The film takes place entirely on a computer screen. It never goes into real life or anything else. It is like being on your computer screen at home, talking with friends. It's like the computer screen we have in our uh, studio right now. Right here. Yeah. thing pops up on that, because I'm the first one out. Sorry, guys. Yet, it uses its limitations to their advantage. If you have... If you have ever used a video chat, you know that the quality is less than perfect. However, they use that to generate unique jump scares and spine-tingling tension. The film offers nothing new to the horror genre, but it certainly will scare the pants off the toughest of people. So me. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and then we got Ex Machina, or Ex Machina, however you want to call it. I like to say Ex Machina. A film about a young programmer named Caleb who works at a technology company, sort of like Apple. Cal wins a contest at work to spend a week with his, at his boss's estate. Upon his arrival, his boss, Nathan, asks him to participate in an experiment that could change the course of human history. Nathan has created an artificial intelligence, and he wants Cal to be the human component in the testing. The AI is named Ava. She acts sweet and highly, in, she acts sweet and highly intelligent. One day the power goes out while the testing is going being conducted. Nathan can't Nathan can't spy on Calb and Ava through the cameras. Ava quickly warns Calb that he shouldn't trust Nathan. She tells Calb to release her and they can run away together. Who is telling the truth? Does Calb have a sexual feeling towards Ava? These are just some of the questions I will leave you with so you can so you can experience this masterful film and it's entirely with no spoilers. In my opinion, this is the best film of the year so far. It's got on the coveted Devin O'Brien four out of four stars. Oh boy! Wow, oh yes, the first oh, star review first, on here. First far, four star review on this show. Mm, that must it, that must be a pretty good movie, huh? It gives great insight on the future, what the future holds, and is a and the question of is AI artificial intelligence a smart idea? By creating an AI, humans become creators as a new of a new race. And in other words, they become gods. Yeah, but, but so what's the deal, man? They want to they wanna hook up? Oh, yes. Why does well, everything got to have to do with sex, man? Can't we just have a yeah. nice day without having to be sex? Well, that's, for well, sure. that's, that's the main um, idea around the phone. Well, let me ask you something, Dev Dog. Well, throw it at me. Would you, would you have relations with a robot? Would I have a relations with a robot? Given the chance. Given the chance. It's, whoa, it's a nice well, that's just robot. an awkward question to it's have. A, it's on a very well built <laughs> robot all the way around. Well, yeah, well, no, it have to be an anatomically correct robot. Hundred right? percent, and that that it is in the film. It wow. is. It it has. Um, what does she look like? All the, uh, Who's the actress appropriate. Um, it's that's a hard name. To, it's Russian. It's like Alicia Valakinder. Alicia Valakinder. I'm gonna let's look her up. Her up. <laughs> I like we're on the same you guys page. Keep talking. Let's, look Alicia let's look her up. Well. Um, well, I mean, you can go on IMDb and search uh, Ex Mach Machina and then just go to the person named Alicia. Yikander. Yes. Yikander. And then, um, as, anyways, but what happens is the AI turns, what happens when the AI turns against the creator and humans do, as humans do with God sometimes? Is there more to AI than meets the eye? With a superb performances, masterful direction, and beautiful yet melancholic cinematography, this film takes the science fiction genre and flips it on its head it is a highly intelligent film that demands to be seen now back to your question wait a minute did you do that on purpose <laughs> is there more to an ai that meets the eye did you do that on purpose 
Was that that was punny? Uh, that was uh yeah hey. That was pretty clever. You know I'm a wow man you're on a roll today. Dude. Like he's our movie reviewer. Can't stand it. So so here we got. Hey you know what? Alicia Vikander. I can yeah. see why the guy was interested. Dude, if I knew a robot. No yeah if she like if her, the robot looked like her. Right. Uh but yes. No, I, why not? I, I, yeah I, I probably. Well, I probably what? what are you talking yeah. about? What do you mean? What's going on over here? <laughs> You guys got some we, funny ideas. I, I would, I would take her out for a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah take her out. Well, she friend, would have a cup of oil or something. Of course, she, so she, she can have. A, I'm gonna have my coffee. She can have a cup of oil. I mean, to each their own. Um, I feed her some oil. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> whoa, whoa! This is a, this is supposed to be <laughs> a G-rated <laughs> show. Uh oh. Any kind of machine. Come on, <laughs> cars, cars, where's, where's trucks, the... machines. You're getting hot here. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, whoa. look. Oops. First, first okay. four-star movie. Yeah. And we know now Devin is a tough critic here, so I think we should give it a chance. Listen, it comes know, out. Well, 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 hear, hear me out. This is in limited release right now, and it comes out, and it comes out nationwide this <laughs> Friday. Right. So wait, how'd you get to see it? Well, I went to New York. What do you mean mm-hmm. you went to New York? Look what do I mean? I went to City? New York. I bought myself a ticket, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go see Ex Machina today. Wow! And I was like, I'll take a trip to New York. I wish I got invited. Yeah, well, we well, get invited. Yeah, what's up with that, dude? Well, I thought we were bros. Listen, I thought we were three bros, one cup. Bro, three, three bros, <laughs> one cup of coffee. This was a solo cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I and listen. A cup of oil. Interested in Unfriended because I wanted to watch it, but I didn't look. I didn't. All you see for advertisement on Unfriended is like you're scrolling through your Facebook, and it's like Unfriended pops up, and you're like, that looks like a really cheesy movie. Yeah, yeah, it is. But like, I heard it's good. Listen, it's it's a nonstop movie. There's no cuts. There's no nothing. It's one take, but it's all on a computer screen. It's like a gimmick. Yeah. But yet, it's a gimmick that works. I mean... I never y- would have thought. Yeah. I mean, here's here's my recommendation. If you decide not to see it in the theaters, you don't want to spend the 13 bucks or anything like that, you can wait till it comes out on, like, Netflix, Netflix. or something, and then Probably just, will. like, put it on full screen, and it's just like watching your computer play that's, itself. That's and so it's weird. I feel like that would be I even mean, a better option than seeing it in theaters, because it would be like... You don't have to touch your computer, and it's all moving for yeah. you. That's that's. I mean, I'm looking at images on here. It looks pretty creative. I mean, I wouldn't have thought of making a whole movie like this, but I might check it out. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was an experiment. In my opinion, it was an experimental film like that worked. But I really, really, really hope they don't do what they did with. Uh, Blair found Witch. found wit uh, found footage films or oh, yeah just that went like down make it fast. a gimmick blown out of proportion like VHS like VHS Paranormal Activity some like those kind of films that are so cheaply made and so ill conceived yeah that it just becomes uh, it doesn't even it's not even worth watching at all well, all right guys well that, that about wraps it up for uh for the movie review of the week. Dev dog, well done. Round of Very applause. Nice. I'll applaud myself. You're the man, bro. Well, it's no. not three of us. Thank yeah, you. We, this because this is three guys, one cup of coffee. We so, all need all. So the other day, gents, you know, I was browsing around the internet because I, I do that sometimes. You know, I I stumbled upon this super interesting tech article. Wait hmm? a minute! Don't we have a? <laughs> Tech time with well, Greg. Well, guess what time it is. It's tech time. It's, don't we have a no, don't we have a little theme for guys, tech? Yeah, we do. It's it's tech time. Tech time. Tech time. Tech time. Tech time. No, okay, we cannot. That's, do that. that has to be a tech theme. Time. Yeah, gonna, tech time. Tech time. Here comes the tech. Time so guys, big I think you game, be Greg. Very interested in this particular topic. All right. What do you have for us today, Greg? The title is "Think You Can Create the Perfect Barbie." Mattel is now taking ideas. All right, guys. I know you're excited about this one. All right. Well, let's let's assess Barbie first so, of all. Here we go. Um, yeah. What? Oh. We have completely unrealistic proportions of the human body, right? Because that's Dude, Barbie. Upset. Long. Are you thin... talking trash about Barbie right now? No, I am talking truth. There's a difference. Come on. 
Listen, don't. Anatomically don't incorrect. Oh, what are you, a feminist? Jesus. I am today. <laughs> now. Let's hear it. What was that noise? If <laughs> we're we're banging on the table because we're so passionate about Barbies today, <laughs> I'd say make a Barbie that looks like a kid. Kids are playing with toys. Baby Barbie. Should look like them, not like some super slender, long supermodel. That's just kind of weird. Wait, you want Barbie to look like a kid? Well, at least like a normal person. Oh. Huh. Right? Well, yeah, sure. An, she, well, this girl looks an normal. Average. Right so, what do you what do you got for us here? Actually, no. Critics critics say that Barbie looks downright creepy. And I'm looking at this picture, she looks kind of like a Chucky doll. <laughs> A fat, they did a fat Chucky doll. They did this thing online where they took nail polish remover and they yeah. took off of um, like on Barbie's face, like all like the the paint, like the eyes, the lips, and the oh, makeup and stuff. Yeah. And it looked like this creepy, like concave skull. Ooh. What? Yeah, just, just look what? it up. Just remove like the okay. makeup and the stuff from Barbie's face, and it just yeah. looks like this a weird, skull. deformed skull. So what would happen if we did that to to girls? We removed their makeup. I mean, but you don't remove their eyes and lips. Oh, wait, their eyes too come off? Yeah, because I'll oh, paint yeah, it on. Right, so I'll paint it on. You're right. I don't, I don't think so... we can get away with just smearing someone's makeup off. <laughs> now Mattel is getting on in on the action. It's hoping that among the 15,000 toy ideas that have already been submitted to Quirky, blah, 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 are some hot sellers for 2015 holiday season. So what they're doing is crowdsourcing, guys, and they're getting... All kinds of new Barbie ideas because they want to make them, they want to make them more more public friendly, more realistic, like you guys are saying. Right. So because there because change is coming and the idea of the, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, as I like to say, that we all that we all have our different ideas of beauty, and you know you're beautiful. We should make a Barbie out of Devin. We should make a dev Barbie. Look, it, all right, look at this picture over here. Barbie with, with the makeup removed. Like, yeah, tell me that doesn't look like the scariest thing you've ever seen see in your life. Oh. In that, it's like a Those weird shape, like huge eyes, alien huge Barbie. lips, alien kind of a Barbie. big forehead. Reminds but, me um, of this chick I used to go out with. That's, you, that's something school. that should never you know what her name was? Actually, the ball. Her name was actually Barbie. Barbie. Yeah, isn't that ironic? That's pretty or coincidental. What's the word? Pretty, pretty both, right? Yeah. <laughs> pretty both. All right. So if you had to pick what Barbie looked like for kids, yeah. What What would you do? Like, well, if you had to submit a Barbie, what would it look fat. like? <laughs> well, that's probably a little more realistic. Why? Because kids are fat. Kids are fat. It's messed up. Well, it's because they're eating junk. They are. You know why they're playing video junk? games. That's a little. Uh, you know that's a little junk? taste into our debate today. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, uh, that, you're well, right. Speaking of debate, we'll be back after these messages, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Big, big Steve, hit us up with the jams, man. All right. We got some we Ave have... Maria playing tonight. Yeah. Yes, we do. Your broadcast is. Well, garbled. I mean. What's up, well, man? we got some calming music oh, for yeah. our uh, nice for, in celebration Thank of. Tell them. Four twenty. Today's today. holiday. Yeah, because people just want to relax. You, you know? know, we. W I hope whoever's listening, out of our zero viewers, <laughs> I hope you're. I hope you're relaxing on a couch with a nice glass of scotch and.